Hi, this is Jolly Rancher and Kneecaps. Uh, today we're going to go over the gear that I was using on my Appalachian Trail through hike during the summer 2009. Next thing we're going to discuss is sleeping bags. What I used for my sleeping bag is right here. It's the Marmot Sawtooth Long. This is a 15 degree sleeping bag. It weighs 55 ounces, which is 3 pounds 7 ounces. Costs about $220. It's 600 fill down, um, and when you're hiking the trail, you really want to have a down bag because uh, down bags are lighter and they pack down smaller than synthetic. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about with a down bag is you have to make sure it does not get wet. Uh, if you get wet in a down sleeping bag, you're going to be cold. If you get a synthetic bag wet, you can still retain some warmth um, as compared to a down bag. <coughs> Excuse me. So this, uh, this was my winter bag. Um, it's rated to 15 degrees. I was out a couple nights where I got into the single digits and I was still able to sleep and maintain my warmth. That was of course wearing all of my clothes. Um, but overall, I thought it was a great bag. Um, it has nice wick in it down, especially by the feet. Um, there are some bags that will try to save weight by making it narrower. Um, what you really have to do is try and get inside the bags before you buy them to make sure that it has enough weight down at the bottom where you want uh, the, the room. Okay? Um, so overall, I really like this bag. There are some lighter options uh, that you can go for for a winter bag, but I think if you start, especially in February or March, you really should have at least a 15 degree bag, maybe less, maybe a, uh, like a 10 or a 5 degree bag, but I think you can get away with a 15 degree bag. Okay, um, the next bag, once I decided that I didn't need the winter bag anymore, I switched to this bag, which is a lot lighter. This is the Lafuma Warm and Light 600G bag. It is a 40 degree bag. It weighs 23 ounces, which is one pound, seven ounces. And it costs $120. This also is 600 fill down. So as I said earlier, down is the way to go when you're hiking on the Appalachian Trail. <coughs> it's a very good summer bag. And it is very light, obviously, um, being one pound, seven ounces. Uh, the one thing I would say about this bag is it is a bit more narrow down by the feet than the Marmot bag was. Um, I actually purchased this one online without trying it out, and that's one of the things you have to deal with if you're going to buy a bag online. Um, I would definitely recommend trying as many bags on for size and laying down in them just to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Okay, so this, uh, so Basically, if you're going to hike the Appalachian Trail, you do need a winter bag and a summer bag. It does not make sense to carry a 15 degree winter bag throughout the entire course of your hike because you are most likely going to be going from 0 to 10 degree weather all the way up to 90 degree weather. And you really don't, shouldn't be carrying one bag for both of those extremes. You should have a winter bag for the cold months and a summer bag for the warm months. Okay? So that's that. Um, and when you're purchasing a sleeping bag, I would recommend getting a down bag, but synthetic bags are available and they are a little bit cheaper usually. With the fill number, that's what I said, this is a down 600 and that is also a down 600. The, the numbers like that are the rating of the fill on the bag. It tells you how much down it is, okay? Um, and they go by by hundreds. So 600 is the cheaper version, but it's not quite as warm per ounce. Uh, 700 is a little bit better, and then the highest quality is 800 or 850. Um, what you're going to find with that is it's going to be warmer for less weight. So it's a higher quality bag depending on how high the number is. Um, so that's a decision you should make based on how much you want to spend for your bag and how much you want it to weigh. Okay. Um, and if you're looking for some of the top brands for sleeping bags, I would recommend Western Mountaineering, Montbell, and Feathered Friends. Marmot uh, is a very good company if you're looking for a middle-of-the-range bag, as is Lafuma. Okay? 
Uh, finally, in this segment, we're going to talk about sleeping pads. I started out the trail with a ridge rest three quarter length uh, sleeping pad. Basically, it's a closed cell foam, half inch thick, and it is very lightweight and it scrunches down to not very much. Um, this particular model weighs nine ounces and it costs 20 bucks. So it's very cheap, very lightweight. Um, the one thing is it is a bit bulky when you're carrying it. And I found over the course of the trail that I wasn't sleeping very well on this because most of the nights I was spending in shelters, which have hard wooden floors. And if you're sleeping on this on a hard wooden floor, it's not all that comfortable. So eventually, I switched to this. This is the Thermarest Pro Light 3. Uh, there are other models of Thermarest like this. Um, there's different numbers. There's Pro Light 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, basically, it's an inflatable pad, so you blow it up with the air nozzle here. Um, when you are done with it and fold it up, it does pack down much smaller than the ridge rest, which is another advantage. Um, but mainly, I chose to go with this because it is so much more comfortable than the ridge rest. You can really adjust this to however soft you want it to be. <coughs> Okay, um, and this particular model is the, uh, the regular size. There is also a larger size and a smaller size. This one is 16 ounces, so it's a pound. So it weighs seven ounces more than the Ridge Rest. Um, but I personally feel that it is worth those seven ounces. I would definitely carry this over the Ridge Rest. This particular model costs $100. Um, and it is warmer as well because it is thicker when you blow it up. Um, over time, what I found with my Thermarest actually is that it just started to develop this bubble in the middle of it. Um, some of the glue was becoming unstuck in the middle due to daily use. Um, it didn't really bother me that much, but at the end of the trail, I did call the manufacturer and send it back to them, and they sent me this one brand new for free. Um, so it's really good to know that they stand behind their product, and uh, I would definitely recommend it to future through hikers. Okay. Um, so that is what I use on the trail and it's, what I would say for sleeping pads is get the one that you're most comfortable with. Um, you don't want to compromise on your sleep when you're hiking for 10 to 12 hours a day. Okay, and some other options that you might want to look at. Uh, Thermarest just brought out a new product called the Neo Air and Big Agnes uh, is another popular name on the trail. They have a product called the Air Core Mummy Pad, which seems to be very comfortable. It's about two and a half inches of air. Okay?